Hello, my name is Neil, and today I will be telling you about the MinCut implementation in Python. The video that's telling you about how MinCut works, the reason you want to use, you want to know MinCut, will be linked down in the description. So let's get started. In the video before, we talked about graphs, which have their different vertices, and then they also have edges that connect to the vertices. So what MinCut is trying to do is it's trying to group these vertices so that there's the least amount of edges going between them. So for example, this is a cut and it's a cut of two. There's also a cut of three here, which we'll, I'll mark with the green over here. And of course, two is the minimum of what we can get, so that's going to be our min cut. So, first of all, how do we implement a graph in Python? Well, Think about it. What we need to know is what vertices are connecting to what other vertices. So what we can do here is we can call this one 0, 1, 2, 3. Or if you want, you can just have these normally. 1, 2, 3, 4. It doesn't really matter. But in the way that I will be putting it in, this will make a little bit more sense. But you can do what you feel like. So what we'll do is we'll have this big list. And inside we'll have different lists marking which ones are connecting to which. So in this list, in, inside of these lists that are inside the biggest, the bigger list, first we'll have the vertices number which we're counting at. So let's say we're talking about one. One is what we're going to start first. That's going to be our first value. And one, of course, is connected to two and four. So that's what we're going to write here. So continuing this pattern, we're going to have two, one, three, four, and then three, two and four and then we're gonna have four connects to one two three so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick our random edge because remember this is a randomized algorithm so we just pick anywhere, any index of this list, 0, 1, 2, 3. Let's say we pick 2. So then we know that 2, it's some edge that has 2 in it. Now, inside of here, we pick whichever one, 1, 2, or 3. Because remember, this is 0 in this list. So let's say we pick 2 index, which will bring us to, the, to 3. Then we have picked this one that is right on the side here to collapse. So now what we need to do is that we have to collapse it in some way. So then everything that's connected to 3 will now need to be connected to 2. And 3 is no longer going to exist because now we've collapsed it. And we're assuming that it keeps the value of 2, which is the one that we picked first. So what we do, what we have to do now is that all of this will be copied over to this list. Okay, so now this list will look like this. It'll be 2, and then we'll have a 1. It'll have a 3, it'll have a 4, it'll have a 2, and it'll have a 4. But now, what we have 
to do is in this whole list, everything that is a 3 has to be changed into a 2. Except we don't need to touch this. We just skip over that because we're just going to delete the whole thing later. So this means that this 3 will change into a 2. And this also means that this 3 will change into a 2. But now we have a problem. Our new node over here, 2, is connected to itself twice. And self loops are completely garbage and nobody cares about them at all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete them. So we're going to take this one out of the list and we're going to take this one out of the list. So now what we have to do is we don't really need 3 at all now because it's everything's been transferred over to 2 and it's all good. So we just take this away. We don't need that at all. And now what we have done is we've collapsed a node. So you keep on while looping through this until there's only two elements in the big list, which means there's only two nodes. And here you count how many nodes, how many different lot, ver, edges go between them. So for instance, you see two is connected to four twice. So if we collapse it in a way that two and four are left, then there may be multiple of these edges and that will determine the min cut. Of course, we have to do this many, many times because it is randomized and that is a drawback. But in the end, it will still work. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Neil Kumar.